Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Some of you may have noticed I have these three devices sitting on my shelf in the room next door for the past couple of months. I've been living with this, I've tested them, and I'm ready to give you a quick introduction of all these three devices today. They are from a company, Volumio, based in Italy, an Italian company that is well known for their operating system, Volumio. If you come across Volumio, or if you, are, if you are a computer savvy, you might have come across Volumio operating system some 10 years ago. I think the company started in year 2010 or even earlier. As a software company, they provide operating system for Raspberry Pi. I have a Raspberry Pi 1 here. I come across Volumio system uh, in year 2010 or 11. <laughs> I, I really cannot remember. I was looking for a music streamer that can be run on this Raspberry Pi and I tried Volumio operating system. At that point in time, there wasn't a lot of music streamer or transport available on the market. Software company like Volumio provide free operating system that you can install this on a Raspberry Pi or even on a small computer like this, a x86 architecture computer that these two devices, once it is installed with the operating system of Volumio, it can be used as a music streamer. So I have lived with this Raspberry Pi, Pi for quite a while. This is a Pi 1. It wasn't really powerful, so the user experience wasn't so great. It's a low power um, single board computer. The processing power is low. The RAM is low as well. Um, it's, it's a cheap device, let's put it this way. It costs less than 10, um, uh, in US dollar, I think it's about 40 US dollar at the point in time. So it's a pretty low cost device that do, please do not expect a pretty high performance out of this Raspberry Pi 1. But Raspberry Pi evolved to Pi 2, Pi 3 and Pi 4 in even the Compute 4 module right now. The hardware performance improved as well as the volume operating system over the past few years improved as well. So I have been using Raspberry Pi occasionally once in a while in my system to test and get up to speed of what is the market offering for Raspberry Pi as well as the Volumio operating system and other operating system that can be installed in the Raspberry Pi just to keep ourselves updated. So when I was in Munich last year, year 2022, May, I come across these new devices from Volumio. I talked to the owner, I talked to the sales manager, and we are blessed to be assigned as the Asian distributor for this Volumio hardware. The company started as a software company. Along the way, they provide um, OEM services of their system along with the hardware for um, quite, quite some big company. And in year 2015, they come up with a Primo streamer. I did not try that because uh, that Primo streamer comes with uh, analog output. For my use case, I always like to have a digital audio transport, pure transport without the RCA analog output so that I can use it with my external DAC like the Dina Frips. But um, these three devices caught my eye um, because it looks really good. It's made of full aluminium. The front panel is well designed. It's small. And I think these devices will suit my customer base. So I, I, I talked to the sales manager and we are blessed to be assigned as an Asian distributor. These three, three devices will be available uh, on bittechnic.com. Um, Right after this video, I'll publish the link to purchase. If you are in Asia, you may purchase this from us, but uh, please do check Volumeo website, the distributor link uh, below as well. Uh, if there's distributor or partner in your country, please buy it from your distributor or the dealer. And for country that do not have distributor at the moment, uh, you may purchase from us. We will be happy to ship this item to you. Uh, this is the agreement between uh, us and Volumeo. We are allowed to sell this to country without distributor or dealer at the moment. Right, so let's come back to these three devices. There are three models available. I wouldn't go through the technical details, but I want to give you an overview of what these three devices and which one is suitable for you. The first one, this is the Vivo Pure Digital Audio Transport. As the name suggested, there's no analog output. You have to use this with an external DAC over coaxial uh, before I forget. My faithful pointer for my daughter. She gave it to me. It's pretty cute. It comes with coaxial output, AES EBU output, as well as a dedicated USB audio output for you to connect to an external DAC. This Volumeo Revo 
comes with um, operating system that is running uh, within itself. As soon as it is put up and connected to your home network through either Wi-Fi or the LAN connection port here, download the application on the smartphone, you will be able to find this streamer on the network, in the same network, and you will be able to come you will be able to configure this Revo streamer to work with an external DAC. How about the music? It can be a local store music through the NAS or through this USB port that it can be connected to an external storage, be it a pen drive or a hard disk, for the raw email to index the music tracks available in the storage. Then you will be able to play the music from this local storage. It can be also connected to this micro SD card here. There's a micro SD card slot somewhere here, right? For you to connect to an external storage through a micro SD. This micro SD uh, is not the operating system. You cannot change the operating system of these three Volumeo devices. It exclusive run on Volumeo operating system only. But I think that's a plus point where you don't have to matter with the operating system where I think there are some frustration of people using Raspberry Pi is that the operating system running on this hardware may not work quite well. So I think uh, Volumeo come up with this, all, these three devices is really a plus point where the operating system of Volumeo is optimized with this Volumeo design hardware. Volumeo designed this single board microcomputer to work well with the operating system by them. <laughs> so again, come back to this Revo. It's a pure digital audio transport that you can connect to an external DAC and or rather you have to connect to an external DAC for it to work well. It comes with a 5 volt um, power adapter. Uh, it looks like this. There's a little box here. It contains the switch mode power supply. But again, I'm not quite a switch mode power supply believer yet. So it is recommended to use an external linear power supply with it. I happen to have one on the desk. And I will recommend you to use a linear power supply like this. This is a LHY Audio LPS 25VA 5V. This guy outputs close to 5 ampere and you will have no problem power up the volume of Revo as well as the Prevo. Right. I will recommend the customer to use this in case you have you already have an external DAC that you like and you are looking for a good streamer. So this is the Revo. The next one will be the Primo. Primo is a music player where um, the music player outputs. Um, the input wise is pretty much the same. You have two USB input for storage. You have an Ethernet connection for RJ45 connection to the home network. It has built-in Wi-Fi without the antenna. Uh, that's Wi-Fi, so please do not mistaken. Uh, despite not having the two antenna, this Primo come with, comes with Wi-Fi connection as well. So it can be connected to the home network where you may connect the NAS storage or the USB storage to this Primo. And the Primo outputs XLR and RCA. It can be connected to an integrated amp, to a pre-power amp, or if you want to bypass the preamp of the system, in case you do not use a preamp in the system, you may use the Primo built-in digital volume control to connect this to a power amp or active lock speaker right away. But again, I would recommend the customer to always use an analog preamp in the system, in my opinion. At the moment, digital volume control still doesn't sound as good as the analog preamp volume control. But for the convenience, I do understand why people want to use the digital volume control. I did try this with Genelex um, active loudspeaker. It works pretty well. Right, so this is a Primo. It comes with different front panel and this, I think this is a real wood front panel that you can tell there's some kind of wood texture um, at the front. Uh, again, uh, before I forget, this is the push button for you to turn on the unit or putting the unit in standby. There's an LED indication here as soon as you power up the unit. Hit on this button once and the button, the unit will turn on and you will be able to find this unit by using the Volumeo app. It comes with a coaxial, RCA, coaxial output through RCA and it can be connected to an external DAC. But for the use case of Primo, I will recommend this for customers who do not have an DAC, who do not have an external DAC in the system and would like to use this as a music streamer, pretty much all in one uh, music streamer. So that's, that's pretty much about it. It comes with adapter, manual, and again, I would recommend you to use linear power supply with it. A 5 volt linear power supply connect to this Primo or the Revo will give you a better sound quality. Right, the last one will be the Integro. Uh, this is an interesting one. This is 
an, an all-in-one integrated network music player. It comes with speaker output, a Class D 50 watt amplifier that can drive this pair of loudspeaker very, very well. Uh, that's to my surprise. I was using this integral to burn in this pair of pure audio project to a 15 loudspeaker. It works pretty well. I play some uh, electronic dance music, EDM. The kind of bass and the grit in my small room here is really wonderful. Pretty nice unit. If you want to use this um, in the home TV system, uh, that is pretty nice. I was told by Volume that they designed this integral or even the two units to be placed underneath the TV that it can be used to power up the passive loudspeaker for the TV setup. I think it's a pretty nice touch where the unit is pretty small. It can be, it can be placed pretty much everywhere that you like. So it comes with uh, two um, knobs at the front. One is for you to control the volume of course. The other one is to turn on the unit as well as to select the input. Now, now it comes with how many inputs does this all-in-one integral has? There is this RCA input that it will be al allow you to connect CD player, radio, or analog source to this integral. The RCA input accepts analog signal and of course uh, is processed digitally internally. There's one review published recently that talked about all the tech inside, so I wouldn't go into the tech details. It comes with um, optical input, coaxial input. Optical input is kind of handy for you to connect the TV optical output to this integral where you can sort of bypass the TV loudspeaker and use this integral to amplify the TV uh, TV music or TV, um, TV sound through the optical signal to this integral and connect this to a, passive, a pair of passive loudspeaker and it will give you wonderful sound through this little unit here. And it comes with um, coaxial input that you can connect to a coaxial input. The, the rest of the stuff are pretty much the same as the two units. Two USB ports for you to connect to an external, to, to multiple USB storage and HDMI output for you to connect to an external monitor for you to monitor the operating system of this volume. These three devices will be available uh, for sale in, on bitechnic.com. I'll link um, the, the, the link, the website link uh, in the video below. And if you are from country without dealer and distributor at the moment, you may purchase it from us and we will ship it to you. And I think these three devices um, are pretty well uh, positioned and market themselves in this um, competitive market. There are way too um, many streamers available on the market right now. But um, if you are looking for good build quality, nice um, looking chassis, um, Italian made, uh, units, uh, all these devices are made in Italy and I think Volumeo did a pretty good job um, by launching this in Munich last year. Uh, we received this batch of um, devices just January 2023. Um, it will be available for sale and we have ample stock for you to purchase. Right, I think I've talked about all these, de these three devices. I hope this gives you an idea what these devices is all about and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.